Hello and welcome to my Esri training video series. In this video, you will learn how to use the tools to grant access to self-paced training resources for current and future users in your organization. Did you know that hundreds of self-paced training resources are made available to an unlimited number of users in your organization when you have at least one qualifying license covered under our Esri Canada Software Maintenance Program? If you want to learn more, keep watching and I will explain to you how to take advantage of this great benefit. Self-paced training resources are available via esri.com under the training section. This section is called the Esri Academy. We also often refer to it as the e-learning. Some of these items are free for anyone to access, but most are required to have qualifying license under maintenance. I will take a few minutes to explain to you how to grant this access in my Esri for all users you wish to add to your organization. To grant permission in my Esri for e-learning users, you will need to have the right level of permissions. Administrators can grant these permissions, but also training administrator can be created by an administrator to only provide management of the e-learning users. It's also important to know that granting access to all these users will not impact your licensing in any way. These users will not be able to see any license information in my Esri. Only their profile would be available to them. Let's get started. With the right permission, log in to my Esri. In my Esri, navigate to the My Organization menu. Then choose Users. On the left, choose Invite Users. In this video, we are focusing on how to grant permission for e-learning access only. First step, you will be providing email addresses to invite the users. You can go one email address at a time, or you can invite multiple people at a time. By uploading a CSV or XLSX file with only email addresses. Either way, when you're ready, you click next to go to the next step. In step two, you will be choosing which permission to grant the people that are included in step one. With the profile I am using, there is only access e-learning permission available for me to assign to others. That's because I only have the assigned training permission under my profile. For administrator with all permission in their profile, you will see a drop down menu where there will be a list of all the permissions available as we saw earlier in this video. Once you have chosen the permission to assign or if the only one available is Access eLearning, click Next to go to the last step, step number three. In this step, you can preview the default email that will be sent out via MyEsri to these users you are inviting, but you can also add a custom message to this email. Once you're all set, you can click Send Invitation to complete the process. The last thing that needs to happen is each user need to accept this invitation by following the step in the email they will receive. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.